Shalom, shalom, hallelujah. who is in the Shemaim, Yid Kadosh is your name, your reign come, your will and Teshuka be done in the Eretz as it is in the Shemaim. The Wada Abba for our daily portion and the belief that we will continue to receive. Hallelujah. Forgive us our unrighteousness, sin and disbelief. As we forgive those who are unrighteous, sin, and disbelieving in us. Shema. Timti. Lead us not into the hands of Mesa. Deliver us from our adversary. For yours is the reign and the power and the esteem. Eternal. Hallelujah. Baruch atah heya, Hashem, Melech ha'olim, Be'olam ve'ed. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, so be it. Hallelujah. We have to Ah. Hallelujah. Here they come. Shalom, Sus. I am late. <laughs> okay, by midbar. Kaf, wow. Wow. 16, number 16. And Korah, son of Yitzchar, son of Kah. Kehith, son of Levi, took Dathan, and Abram, the sons of Eliab, and On, son of Peles, sons of Reuben, and they rose up before Moshe with some of the children of Israel, 250 leaders of the congregation, called ones of the meeting men of name. And they assembled against Moshe and against Aaron and said to them, Enough of you, for all the congregation is Koresh, all of them, and Heya is in their midst. Then why do you lift yourselves up above the assembly of Heya? And when Moshe heard, he fell on his face and spoke to Korah and all his company, saying, Tomorrow morning Heya shall make known who is his and who is Koresh, and come near to him. And let him bring near to him the one whom he chooses. Do this. Oh, take fire holders. Oh, no. Take, hmm. wait, I lost my spot. Tomorrow morning you shall make known, okay, who he chooses. Do this. Take fire holders, Kara and all your company, and put fire in them. And it put incense in them before Heya tomorrow, and it shall be that the one whom Heya chooses is K the Kadosh one. Enough of you, sons of Levi. And Moshe said to Korah, Hear now, you sons of Levi, is it little to you that Melech Olam of Israel has separated you from the congregation of Israel to bring you near to himself to perform the service of the Mishkan of Heya and to stand before the congregation to serve them? So it's mm, like a Christian mentality came on the Levites. They wanted everybody to be the same, even though not everybody would be more set apart. Hmm. Uh, and to stand before the congregation and serve them, and that he has brought you near to himself, you and all your brothers and the sons of Levi with you, 
Yet you seek the co co un co kehunan as well. Therefore, you and all your company are assembled against Heya. And Aaron, what is he that you grumble against him? And Moshe sent to call Dathan and Abram, Abram, wait, Abram, the sons of Eliab. But they said, we are not coming up. Is it little that you have brought us up out of the land flowing with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness that you would also seize total rule over us? Also, you have not brought us into the land flowing with milk and honey, nor given us the inheritance of fields and vineyards. Would you bore out the eyes of these men? We are not coming up. And Moshe came, became very displeased and said to Heya, Do not respect their offering. I have not taken one donkey from them, nor have I done harm to any of them. Then Moshe said to Kara, Tomorrow you... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, tomorrow you and all your company shall stand there before Heya, you and they and Aaron, and each one of you, and take each one his fire holder, and you shall put incense in it, and let each one bring his fire holder before Heya. 250 fire holders, and you and Aaron, each one with his fire holder, so that each one took his fire holder and put the fire on it, and laid incense on it, and stood at the door of the tent of appointment with Moshe and Aaron. And Korah assembled all the congregation against them at the door of the bay of appointment at the uh, Mishkan. Then the esteem of Heya appeared to all the congregation, and Heya spoke to Moshe and Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from the midst of this congregation, and let me consume them in the moment. But they fell on their faces and said, Oh, Elian, Elian, host of the messengers of all flesh, when one man sins, are you wroth with all the congregation? And Heya spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the congregation, saying, Move away from around the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. And Moshe rose up and went to Dathan and Abiram. And the elders of Yisrael followed him, and, they, and he spoke to the congregation, saying, Please turn from the tents of these wicked men. Do not touch whatever belongs to them, lest you be consumed in all their sins. And they moved away from all around the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abram. And Dathan and Abram came out and stood at the door of their tents with their wives and their sons and their little children. And Moshe said, By this you know that Heyah has sent me to do all these works, Do not, not because of my own lips, if these die as all men do, or if they are visited as all men are visited, then Heya has not sent me. But if Heya creates what is unheard of, and the Eretz opens its mouth and swallows them up with all that belongs to them, and they go down alive into, the, into Sheol, then you know that these men have scorned Heya. And it came to be, as he ended speaking all these words, that the ground under them split apart, and the Eretz opened its mouth and swallowed them up with their households and all the men with Korah, with all their goods, so that they and all those with them went down alive into Sheol. And the Eretz closed over them, and they perished from the midst of the assembly. Huh. And all Israel who were around about them fled at their cry, and they said, Lest the Eretz swallow us up. And a fire came out from Heya and consumed the 250 men who were offering incense. And Heya spoke to Moshe, saying, Say to Eleazar, son of Aaron, the Kohen, the Kohen, to pick up the fire holders out of the blaze, for they are Kodesh, and scatter some of the fire some distance away. 
And the fire holders are these men who sinned against their own. Lev, or uh, hei. Let them be made into beaten plates as a covering for the altar because they brought before they brought them before Heya, before they are Kodesh, and let them become a sign to the children of Israel. And Eleazar the Kohen took the bronze fire holders which those who were burned up had brought, and they were beaten out as a covering on the altar. A remembrance to the children of Israel that no stranger who is not of the seed of Aaron should come near to offer incense before Heya, and not like and not be like Koran and his company, as Heya had said to him through Moshe. But all the congregation of the children of Israel grumbled against Moshe and against Aaron on the next day, saying. You have killed the people of Heya, and it came to be when the congregation assembled against Moshe and against Aaron that they turned toward the tent of appointment and see a cloud covered it and the esteem of Heya appeared. Moshe and Aaron came before the tent of appointment and Heya spoke to Moshe saying, Arise from the midst of the congregation and let me consume them in a moment. And they fell on their faces to so Moshe and Aaron, take the fire holder and put the fire from the altar, and they lay incense on it, and go, hurry to the congregation and make appointment for them. For wrath has gone out from Heya, and a plague has begun. And Aaron took it as Moshe commanded, and ran into the midst of the assembly, and saw that the plague had begun among the people. And he laid on the incense and made atonement for the people and stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stopped. Wow. And those, <laughs> and those who died in the plague were 14,700, besides those who died on account of Korah. Then Aaron turned to Moshe at the door of the tent of appointment, for the plague had stopped. Hallelujah. Dawada Abba for your word according to number 16 by Midbar uh, Kaf. Well. Okay, I cor correction. Thank you, my tutor in my ear. Okay, my sweetheart corrected me. He said it is by Midbar Yod. Wow. 16. He is right. All right. May hey, uh, let it, the words impress you in your lip. Let them be a sign on your hand and all you do. Frontlets between your eyes and all you see. Let your mouth speak of it when you go by the way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Hallelujah. And may he shine his face upon you and give you his shalom. Shalom, shalom. <laughs>